Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and today we're going to be doing a review on this guy that you see here, which is the Delta laptop case. I've been wanting to this review for a while, just never got around to it because there were a whole bunch of other bags that I thought were um, a little bit more difficult to explain and had a lot more features, and so I sort of put my prior put my priority there first, because um, I always thought this was a relatively simple bag, um, and there really weren't a whole lot of different things to talk about. But um, because they're putting on such a great sale right now on Lug Life for this exact product, um, I think it's $19 US, um, I thought I would just do a quick video for anybody who might still be on the fence, um, or anyone who really wasn't sure how they were going to use this bag for something other than a laptop case. Um, because it's such a good deal, I just wanted to sort of let you know um, what you're missing out on if for some reason you decide not to get it. Um, and if anyone was just sort of still thinking about it, it is such a great deal. $19 I think is the best price they've ever offered it for. Um, I got it for $24 US a few months ago, I don't know, maybe a year ago now, I can't rem remember. Um, but I've definitely had it for a while and I thought $24 was an amazing deal because I think that was at the time also less than half price. Um, but this is way less than half price, so if you are not sure, probably should get it. Um, anyway, so uh, the price, so the price, the color that they actually I think have left is this one right here, which is the crimson large dot. So if you want to get a sense of what it looks like, here it is. Uh, stay tuned also at the end of this video, I will put some fact sheets on uh, at the very end that will give you all the different features and the exact measurements of this product. So if you really weren't sure if it was going to fit certain things that you might want to put inside, hopefully those measurements will help. So uh, let's go on a tour of the outside of the bag. I'll take you on the inside and show you what I've got inside it. And then I'm going to put a couple other things into it and I'll put it in other things just to show you how it sort of fits uh, in my life. So first of all, on the outside, you can see here there's a seam. Just so you know, there's no, there's no pocket there. There's no zipper. There's nothing there. Um, it's a bit of a pit a bit of a pet peeve of mine. One, because I don't know why they put the seam there. It didn't really do anything as far as uh, functionality from what I could tell. And it really didn't do anything as far as pattern. Because if you can see here, there's a little bit of a problem here. So there's like a tiny little sliver of a circle, a little sliver, and then there's another little sliver, but there's one on the other side. There's a one on this side, one on that side. And it just kind of gets bigger and bigger. So if they don't perfectly align um, this print, if it really bothers you, um, when, you know, half circles and quarter circles and all that, this pattern is going to bug you a little bit. It did bother me a little bit more in the beginning. Now I don't really look at it and I don't really care, um, because it's, you know, that, that, that's it, the randomness of the circles are actually not terrible. Um, and I don't even really see this because of where it sits in my bag. So if that bugs you, do be careful. Um, but I think, yeah, I, I never understood why they put that seam there. Anyway, so it doesn't actually do anything other than annoy me. Uh, let's go to the back. So let's go and talk about the mouse pad. So that is where that mouse pad is. So that little black surface area is where you would put your mouse. And it is kind of a soft, almost like a neoprene kind of feel. Uh, and I feel, I, I feel like that might actually even be what they're using on it. So it's not a smooth, um, like plastic wipeable surface. It's not quite like that. And it's not quite as silky as some of the soft mouse pads, mouse pads are um, out there, but it definitely works. Like it really, really works. I have used it as a mouse pad and it does work well. Um, like when I run my mouse on it, it is smooth. It, it allows for like a good amount of traction without it being sticky um, or having it have the mouse be too fast. So I'm just gonna show you how big this is. Um, I don't have a huge hand, but it is about the size of my hand. So when I put a mouse on top of it, and that's not a huge mouse, it's only the bigger mouse mice out there, mice, mouses, um, but it's, you know, it's not a small mouse. This is not a mini size mouse. Like it's not a tiny little compact mouse. It's an average desktop mouse. So this is actually what I use on my desktop top. Um, I just brought it here to show you what it looks like on the mouse pad. So if you've got your hand on it, there's a fair bit of space. So if you really, really want to move around, there's a lot of space that you can use so you're not having to always sort of backtrack or stay on the spot. Um, and if you happen to have a mouse that has the ability where you can sort of push like the button so you can go sideways and scroll, it does make it a lot easier so you don't have to be taking up quite so much surface area um, as far as
far as actually using the mouse. Now, because it is a little bit of a softer surface, it does pick up dirt and dust and hair, <laughs> cat hair. Um, I have cats and it definitely picks up cat hair. So if that bothers you, you may have to carry around a little, um, a little lint roller or some, you know, kind of some kind of wipeable thing so that you can clean it off a little bit. And if you have, have happen to have a really sensitive mouse, you do have to make sure that your mouse is clean and make sure that the pad is clean before you use it. Otherwise you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff stuck inside the, in, inside the mechanism. So, but it does work really, really well. Um, I'm, since I'm here, I'm talking about it. I'm just going to mention the one bad thing about having this mouse pad here is that if you've got uneven stuff or like uh, sort of like weird shaped objects inside the bag or if it's sitting on a funny angle, um, the mouse pad doesn't really work very well, uh, especially because like if there's something lumpy underneath this. It, it doesn't allow for this to work. And because it's not, it's not, there's no board behind this. There's no structure behind that particular panel. Uh, if, if there's something, like I said, wonky on the inside, then your mouse is not gonna move very smoothly. So do keep that in mind that if you are deciding to use this mouse, pad, sorry, as a mouse pad, make sure that everything inside is smooth and flat and that's laying on a flat surface and it's not wobbling back and forth. Um, and also make sure that if you are gonna use this as a mouse pad and you can have anything underneath it um, that is smooth and, and, and sort of secure all the time, you may actually have to carry something. So either like a piece of cardboard or like a really thick notebook or something like that so that when you need to, you can sort of throw something underneath like into this back zipper so that it has a little bit of stability to sit on so your mouse can sit on it. So just keep that in mind. That is something I sort of discovered. I did use it a couple of times uh, with a tiny little sort of netbook that I had. And there were a couple of times I had some really oblong things in here and it was rocking and rolling and I was having a whole lot of trouble with my mouse. So anyway, so that's the, um, that's the mouse pad. Then on the outside, on the side at the very top here, uh, I actually love this and I thought it was a really nice thing to add. There's a top handle. So I think you can see there, there's a little grab handle at the top. So if you're trying to carry it around, um, that's a really, really sort of fun, handy thing to have. Now for me, I love that that has one, but I didn't like where they put it. I think I understand why they put it here, um, but I don't like it. I would have preferred it be on the top where the zippers were. So to me, I think it would have been better if there was a, a little space here and there was a handle here or like, a grab handle on this side and a handle on that side that I could pick up the whole thing because I'll tell you something, sometimes you forget to completely zip this shut or if you're like in the middle of moving something out of the way because you're in a rush um, and you've got it opened this way, to carry it this way doesn't make a whole lot of sense because then stuff spills out the outside. Um, so I kind of like that they have a handle but I'm not in love with where they put it. Um, if they had put that on the top, to me, this would have been a much better planned thing. Now, I would like to know why they put it on the side. If anybody has any ideas why, I'd like to know. Because um, when I have it in my bag, I put it in this way. So that I, when I open up my bag, I access it this way. I don't slide it in this way and pull it out that way. Um, this is almost like a little file thing that I have in my bag. And I'll show you that how that works in a minute. So as far as that top handle would have preferred it on here. Um, it also has two D rings on either side and they're quite big. They're not small and you actually can put a crossbody strap, which it does come with. So I never use it cause I never use a crossbody. Um, but it comes with a one and a half inch crossbody strap that is adjustable and it has two little lobster claws on the side and that's how you would hook that on um, just like all the other lug straps so it does go on really really easily gunmetal hardware on the straps on the buckle and on the d-ring so that makes it look a little bit nicer it makes it really sturdy and strong and it makes the lobster claws really easy to hook on okay so then let's go into the first zipper, which is the front zipper here where all the organization is. So this is how I've organized it. So I have a notebook, just a small notebook. It's nothing fancy, just a small little notebook, little coil notebook that goes in there. I can easily fit a whole bunch of other things in that front thing as well. I don't have it packed today, but I have definitely put things into this front flap. 
Um, it's got its own gusset. I don't know if you can see, oops, if you can see that. Uh, but it does have its own gusset, so it does actually fit a fair bit of stuff. So I've been able to fit way more stuff in there than what you see there. But this is the tidier version. Um, and I do like that I can also pull this flap down, fold it down, and have the to be able to see everything really easily and quickly and grab things as I need to. So right here I have a very large calculator. Um, it's not a small one at all, but I definitely can keep that in there and it's really easy to grab. Um, so these two pockets here have an elastic gather at the top. They are not fleece lined or padded, but it's padded on the back here, the whole panel back here. That whole panel, the whole thing on the back is padded because it will eventually pad your laptop on either side. Um, and then there's two uh, pen slots here, but I was able to fit two pens in one slot. This one at the moment is open. There's another pen I'm using it's elsewhere at the moment, but I can put um, probably another two. I don't know. I've never tried it actually. Yep, I can fit two thin pens in both of them. So I can have, that can actually function as a four pen slot, depending how big your pens are. So I've got two thin ones here and two thin ones there. Um, I actually usually have a, a thicker Sharpie in that one. It's just missing because it, it died and I was, I'm having to, have to buy a new one. Um, so I've got a few other little pens and markers and pencils and uh, retractable eraser that I love um, in there and some little post-it notes. And I've got some little stickers and things like that as well that I need for my business so that all just fits in there really really easily these are just if you're wondering two paper straws don't ask I'll tell you that maybe some other video um, so that's what I keep in this section and it's really really easy to access and I love that I can just see everything really quickly and there's still way more room for other stuff and it doesn't seem to get in the way of these pockets um, so the other thing about this bag which I really like it has double zippers on both, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, it has double zippers on both pouches or on both sections. And they both, if you can see, they have little holes there, little gaps. So you can actually lock both sections. If you happen to be traveling um, and you want to have extra protection or if you're, you know, just paranoid, um, you can actually put small little locks on there. Uh, because there's enough little bit of hole that you can put two small locks on both sections. So if you, for example, want to hold your laptop in one section and put your, I don't know, your devices and your chargers and your um, your iPad or something like that in the front section, you can lock both of them and keep both sections secure. So let's go to the back here. So what I don't actually use as a laptop, like I said, I don't have a laptop. But if you do, um, it is fleece lined on both sides of that section and it's fleece lined all the way down to the bottom and it is padded on both sides as well and it's really well padded so if those of you who may have like the insulated bags it's way more padded than that so it will give your laptop or your devices a lot of protection there is no padding just so you know on this side there's a very very thin amount of padding on the outside flap so you could put like your device there but if you're looking for real protection you're not going to get it on the outside so if that lands and it hits the pavement uh on the front this way no guarantee that it's really going to do a whole lot of good but if it lands on the back it's actually quite well padded um so i carry my ipad in this because this is where i carry my ipad um and i have a really thick chunky rubbery ipad case uh, and this is an iPad Air 2, um, and it's kind of old, but that's where I keep my iPad. And like I was saying earlier, I do have a little notebook here, and this is a, just a regular 8 by whatever it is, 8.5 by 11 size school notebook, coil notebook. And I keep that in there, obviously, to, to take notes, but I also keep that in there partly so that if I need that, should I ever need the mouse pad on the back, I do have something sort of hard in there and smooth and even that will act as a little bit of a pushback when I need that to be a nice smooth surface. It never happens. I think I said use it twice um, and I don't carry it for that purpose. But hey, the feature's there. Always good to have it. Um, so just to show you, so I'm going to take out the things that I carry in it. Uh, let's put that there. So what I actually have, um, it's not mine. I have borrowed it just for the video. I have a very large old, uh, I've been told, I've been told it's a 15 inch Mac, what is it? Macbook? Uh, is it a Macbook Air? I knew that three seconds ago. 
what does it say? MacBook Pro. So sorry. Okay, it's old. It's got a case, but it's a thin case, so it's not a super chunky case. And I've, I, I know that they said it's supposed to be, it's supposed to fit a 15 inch laptop, but with this case, now it's an older model. I, I don't know, I think it's this, this particular laptop is probably 10 years old. I can't fit it. So I don't know if you can see, but it just, just, just juts out the side. So I can't get the corners even into the, into the case. Um, if I get it in, I really, ugh, I'm really squeezing to get the zipper around. Uh, so to me, that's not a fit. I can only get it to about there and then I can't get the other side to really wrap because it's so tight. So that's as far as I can get it. So if you happen to have a larger, older laptop, that's all you can do. So there's a little bit hanging out here. So this is supposedly a 15 inch laptop. And I think there was like in according to the website, it says it's supposed to fit a 15 inch laptop. This doesn't seem to fit. Uh, and like I said, the case isn't even really all that big. It's a thin plastic case and it still doesn't quite fit. And I w there's nothing else in here. And I have even tried to take all the stuff out of the front pocket to see if that was the reason why this wasn't fitting. Like if it was taking up space from all the junk that was in here, even empty, this does not fit in this case. So if you were looking to get this for your 15 inch laptop, if it's on a slightly older side and that it's thicker, um, this is this is a 10 year old laptop at least. Um, so it's actually quite thick. It's probably like an inch and a half thick. Um, it doesn't work. It just doesn't fit. So maybe some of the newer ones will, but here's the thing. When this laptop, sorry, when this bag came out, this laptop was not completely old and obsolete yet. So they obviously made them at a time when laptops were a little bit chunkier um, and it still doesn't really quite fit. So do be careful if you are ordering this bag for an actual laptop, um, make sure that the dimensions will actually fit in this pouch. Um, because it's one thing if the screen is that big, but maybe if it's a really bit, if it's a bit thicker or somehow, you know, a little bit wider because the keyboard's wider, um, you do have to keep that in mind. So that was sort of a, a shameful thing. Like when I found out that this laptop doesn't actually fit in the 15 inch laptop case. Um, so yeah, so just keep that in mind. Um, but it does fit anything obviously smaller than that. So if you have a 13 inch, you're totally, totally going to be fine. It is definitely going to fit and you're not going to have any issues with that at all. Um, or if you happen to have, you know, I guess a thinner, maybe 15 inch one, it might work. Um, but I can't attest to that because I don't have one here. Um, and I, and I don't think I'm going to anytime soon. So, um, so there we go. So that's how that all zips up. Now, uh, if you're wondering how I carry it, I actually use it inside of this guy, which is the uh, Peekaboo Tote, the Clear, the Clearview Peekaboo Tote, and this is why I got the Delta. So for me, I first of all, I love this thing. I absolutely love this tote, but there's no organization. There's absolutely nothing in it whatsoever. But I wanted something that I could actually keep this thing organized and carry, um, sort of I guess nicer things in it without crushing them. So. This is why I got it. So for me, I actually love that I have something that's that big and can keep me organized. So there it is inside the peekaboo and I can access all of my stuff as if it's a real lug bag <laughs> and it's got organization as it, you know, as I expect a lug bag to have. But look at this, look at how adorable that is from the front. I hope you can see that a little bit. So it just, it perfectly works with the size. It works with the pattern. It works with the color. Um, and then I can still put a few other little things on the side and it's thin enough. Oh, got caught my blinds. It's thin enough that even when it's full, I still have room. I hope you can see for a fair bit of stuff inside there. So I'm just going to show you what other things I put into it. So I've got here one of those, um, this is the lunch tote. Um, I forget what it's called. Oh my God. It's like a bento. I can't remember the name right now, but it's one of these. <laughs> so it's got the, um, the insulated sort of thing there. Um, this is one of the smaller ones. So it's not the big, big one, although we do have that one as well. Um, but that fits in there and I still have my peak, my, uh, my Delta in there as well. And then 
I have uh, um, this set, which is my chariot. So when I'm carrying, when I'm not, when, depending on what I'm carrying, so I'm just going to take this guy out. But this chariot still fits in behind my delta. So check it out. So there's the front of it. So that's what it looks like with my delta inside. Totally cute. And I still have this really awesome peekaboo thing going on, but I can access all of my stuff. And then again, right now I just have it full from with the other stuff, but I can still get my organization. So let's just take out the other little guys here. So I can still get organization from my chariot right in behind. And so there you go. That's what it looks like from the back. So you can see the delta a little bit from the top because it's a bit taller. And then there's my delta, my uh, my chariot in the back. So that's how I pack this particular bag. So depending on what I'm doing and what I need for the day, um, I can and I and just actually I have I have actually carried this in there as well. Um, so I can carry a fair bit of this peekaboo. It just means that it because it doesn't close with the magnetic slaps snaps. But if I wanted to. There you go. It still does quite, it does fit quite well. So that is how I've used it. And I love it this way. Um, so if you happen to have a peekaboo and or peekaboo tote and you're looking for something to carry inside it. Now, again, it's going to look really, really great if you happen to have the crimson large dot. Um, and if you do happen to have any part of this line, get this Delta because you just don't know how it's going to work. Um, I have definitely carried like documents in here. I've had uh, like file folders. I've carried my taxes in here when I've taken them to, to my accountant um, so I can have like wads and wads of stuff and it fits in here really, really well and it still zips. So even though it's a laptop bag, I never use it for a laptop bag. I use it for other things and it's a great organizer. And because it's so slim and thin, even if you want to take like your um, office supplies and things like that, if you are traveling like with a suitcase, um, you can use this as your as your organizing case. So it's like it's kind of like having like your chariot, but thinner with zippers and um, you know, and, and, and uh, yeah, not having this open concept kind of thing. It'll keep you a little bit more organized. It'll keep everything nice and smooth and flat. And you'll be able to have options so that if you want to use it as a laptop bag, you could, if you want to use it just to keep your stuff organized, you could, um, you can probably even put clothes in here if you really wanted to, um, use it as almost like a compression bag. So you can probably put your jeans, um, in the front or sorry, in the back with maybe a shirt and then put some underwear and some socks and things like that in the front. And that's your compression bag. Um, there are a whole bunch of different things you can use it for. If you're an artist and you're carrying around canvases, um, if you are uh, into scrapbooking and you wanted to carry around some of your uh, some of your tools, you can use it for like that. If you're going to a crop somewhere, um, that's yeah. I mean, there are so many different things you can use this for other than a laptop case. So I know it says that, so it might sort of stump what you think you can use it for. But I didn't buy it for the laptop. I bought it for the fact that it's really cute. It was a great deal. It's got lots of little pockets um, and is very versatile as something other than just a just a um just a laptop case so there you go i hope that helps if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you want me to put something in it and see if it'll fit let me know and i will try it and put that in the comments and answer you back um i don't think they've got a ton left i think there's more than not i think there's like over a hundred last i checked uh, so you're okay. It'll probably last till the end of the week uh, or like last, last through the weekend. Um, but if you're hesitating, just get it. If you've already got free shipping, I think just get it. Uh, it's $20. It's actually cheaper than so many of the other items that they've got. Like it's cheaper than like, you know, a bento box. It's cheaper than uh, what else are they offering right now? Like it's you know, like a strap is like $13. So you may as well get one of these and then take the strap off of it. So if you're looking for this strap, if you're looking for a 1.5 inch, um, you know, polka dot strap, get this because you're going to get the crimson large dot strap for $13. And then you happen to get a bag for, what is it? 
an extra six dollars like if you're looking at it that way if you're looking at the value of it um so that's what i would say so that's just my my advice to you so if you're looking for a, a one and a half inch strap uh don't bother just just get this and you can you can harvest it for parts and then use that for something else um you you can you probably even use it to organize your bathroom if you wanted to i don't know there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with it it's actually quite versatile and i love things like this this is what i like about love is that lug love about lug is that there are so many different things you can do with all their accessories it doesn't have to be what it's supposedly meant for or what it was designed for um so there i hope that was helpful um like i said please let me know if you have if you have any comments or anything like that or any questions please leave them down below i'll try to answer them as soon as i can um stay tuned for the fact sheets at the end of this video thanks so much for watching take care and i'll see you next time